This is the Missouri River. One of the longest rivers in the world. But right over here is the Roe River. The shortest river in the world. That's where it starts. That's where it ends. And it is crystal clear. This section, as you can see, is dammed up along there. But it's probably like 10, 10 feet deep or so. And you see, there's one, there, there, there. And here are one of the points where it starts. This is a giant spring state park in Great Falls, Montana. But yeah, that's the beginning of the world's shortest river. It flows 201 feet. From here to there. So yeah, really not much here. It's very cold, it stays 54 degrees all year. Temperature never changes. So yeah, it's pretty cold, but. It's weird, you have a longest river in the country, shortest river in the world. And we were just in town here, so we're like, oh, we'll stop and see this. I didn't know it was the shortest river in the world until about 10 minutes ago. I didn't even know it would, I don't know why you even call this a river, but it's a river. You can pause this if you want to read it. You can read that one too, tell us about the history of the place. And yep, you can pause that, but it starts there. Most of it just flows into the river there, but some of it does come through around this little island out there. There's not a lot less current here. And the fish hatchery is right there, over the side. But yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. Um, I never intended on coming to, to see this, didn't even know it was here, but yeah. Roe River, world's shortest river, Missouri River, one of the longest in the world. At the fish, fish hatchery, just next door. You can see some fish in there. They're pretty, they're huge.